Welcome back everyone to some more Assassin's Creed Odyssey. So in the last episode we found, I can't remember his name, oh El Peno. We killed him and in between episodes I've gone and done everything I could find that's not in this area because one of these quests triggered the last time I was in this area. So I've tried to avoid that. I've also gained the ability to tame animals. My pet lion is in there. I found him in an encampment. It's fairly easy. I let him I let him kill some soldiers and then when he was weak I went and kicked him down. You just hold Y to tame him. I think it's Y. So every time I go in that direction over there to trigger this quest it keeps crashing. So I'm going to do this quest over here first. I don't know if it's because the game's not been loaded up long enough but I've tried to load it three times now and it's crashed. So I'll do this quest if it lets me. Ah, Mistios! Well, aren't you a sight to my aged eyes? Young, energetic. Perhaps I should just pay for your body instead of your help. I've always wanted an older lover. All things get better with age, don't they? Even you. The Oracle said that if I'm to live a long and happy life, I need to stay young at heart. But I mustn't lose focus. I need your help more than your magnificent body. I'm glad to hear it. Corrigos, my husband, is having some difficulties keeping up with my hunger for pleasure. I imagine any man would. Oh, I have many lovers, but he's my soulmate. When we're together, it's indescribable. Then don't describe it. When we were younger, we would run into the moonlit forest, shed our clothes, and pleasure each other until sunrise. Our howls of ecstasy would echo throughout the valleys. You're a feisty one. I hope I'm as feisty as you at your age. I'm feistier now than I've ever been. What does this have to do with me? I've learned of a powerful elixir, which if consumed will give someone the vigor and stamina of Eros. If you can gather me the ingredients, I can make it for my husband. I'll find him. All right, I'll find the ingredients. If you promise to keep your nocturnal activities to yourself. I have some drachmi, and Koragos has more. If you can bring me some bear scrotum and a deer tongue, I can make the elixir. Oh, is that all you need? Don't worry, I'll reward you well. I'm sure Koragos will be thankful also. I'll get the ingredients. I'll be back with the ingredients soon. A bear scrotum. Is she serious? <gasps> I'm guessing I've got to go find a bear. Bears can be found northern part of Grand Mount Parnassus. I guess we're going up here. Oh, I've already done this area. I guess I'm going here again. I'll see you there. It's going to take me a while to run there. Oh, we found some bears. I wonder if I can just get it off this body. This smells awful. Who would drink an elixir made from this? I mean, technically I don't need to fight anything now. I'm not going to fight those bears just because the last lot of bears took a while to die. I've got to find some deer. I'm just going to keep running along the path and hopefully I find some. So they don't look like deer, they look like elk, but I'm going to try and kill one anyway. Is that what I need? We'll find out. What kind of elixir uses ingredients like this? That was it. I'm going to jump on the horse and we're going to get back. <laughs> Here we are. Mistios, you're back! And not a moment too soon. I got what you asked for. Who is this Avxesia? 
This is the Mystios who's going to reignite our spark, my love. Oh, no. We've been through this. I can't satisfy you anymore. You're going to kill me with your lust. Nonsense. I'm going to make you an elixir that will give you the vigor of a man a fraction of your age. God save me. I cannot do this anymore. <laughs> Let me satisfy you. Your husband is tired. Allow me to satisfy your hunger. I've never been with a mercenary before. Very well. Let's see what you're made of. Most awkward quest ever. Did she... have fun? That should hold her for a few days at least. Thank you, Mistyus. Here, take this as payment. You've more than earned it. Why is he flinching? Yep, most awkward quest ever. That was just... <sighs> so I'm going to attempt this again. I've got a feeling it's going to crash. Just because I've not had luck with this quest. Wait. What? We've got one down there and one here. I'm going to approach this slowly just to give it plenty of time to load. Cassandra, isn't this remarkable? We're so close to the gods, I can feel Apollo all around me. How did it go with Elpinor? We can talk later in private. Who's this? Just a simple pilgrim. He just saw the oracle. I couldn't help but ask if she's as glorious as they say. Well, is she? She left me with more questions than answers. That's the oracle for you. You weren't lying. It really is the spear of Leonidas. Uh, I may have mentioned you. Think before you speak. Malaka, Farnavas. Use your head. Well, it's just he seemed interested in legends. Like you. I, I thought you might get along. How did... Back off. One more move and the spear will be at your throat. Tell me your name. I also mentioned you can be a little defensive. My name is Herodotus. I'm a storyteller, or I was. This war is forcing us all to new extremes. Hmm. That much is true. Why are you hiding your identity? I'm here on behalf of a man in Athens. A very powerful man. We intend to finally end this war. You told me you came to ask the Oracle a personal question. War is personal, Barnabas. So? You came to seek the Pythia's guidance on how to end the war? I did. Though something is wrong in Delphi. Guards at every turn, people being turned away. I have questions for the Oracle. I have my own questions for the Pythia. But this time, I'll be an old woman by the time I see her. <laughs> You're joking! You carry more blades than a field of grass! I didn't come here to start trouble. Trouble? Just walk in! Who's going to stop you? The priest? <laughs> All right. But if things get out of hand, I'm blaming you, Varnavas. Is she not every bit as great as I said? <sighs> I guess we're just going in. Oh, here he is. I'm here to see the Pythia. Only those chosen by the light of Apollo may enter. How does one get chosen? One goes to the back of the line. Do I look like someone who waits in line?
Enter into the light of Apollo, the light that illuminates shadow. Choose your question wisely, mortal, for you have but one. Speak, truth seeker! Hmm. Who is my father? I'm more interested in that. I'm looking for my father. My true father. Who is he? It's you! From the visions! The child on the mountain! How could you know that? You need to leave. Now. Leave? Do you have any idea what I've been through to get here? Oh, but I do. While in Kausos, you didn't cower in the face of the priest. A child and her family still live thanks to you. But how? No one can hide from the light. Please. I've come this far. You must have the answers I seek. Child of the mountain, the cult of Cosmos have eyes everywhere. They will kill you. Cult of Cosmos? The Oracle has spoken! The prophecy is yours! You never answered my question! The Pythia is done for the day. I'm not leaving until I get answers! Irovatos, uh, you're still here. Where's Varnavas? He's gone back to your ship. You don't look happy with your prophecy. She... knew who I was. <laughs> She's the Pythia. It's her business to act like she knows you. That was no act. She said she had visions of me as a child on a mountain. What child hasn't stood on a mountain? I was thrown from that mountain. My life started and ended on that mountain. I'm telling you. She knew who I was. What I'd done. She tried to warn me. Warn you? About what? The cult of Cosmos. She mentioned the cult of Cosmos. Does this mean anything to you? I'd heard whispers. A cult unlike any other coming to Delphi. But I paid them no mind. And the Pythia seemed afraid of them. The guards took her away. Took her away? Then the whispers were true. If this cult has corrupted the Pythia... This is devastating news. Do you understand what this means? Through her, the cult controls the world. I need to speak with her when she's not so well. Protected. That would require a miracle from the gods. She is always protected. I'm going to find her. I'll find where the Pythia lives. And I will get answers. Cassandra, don't forget. Brute force is useless when finesse is required. <laughs> We will see about that. Track the quest. Uh, oh, that's a walk. I'll see you when I'm almost there. Oh. Alright, it says we're close. Let's see what we the got. Oracle is hiding inside. I'll finally get some answers. I don't see a ton of soldiers. It doesn't seem like it's going to be difficult. Although they made it sound like I'd have to stealth my way in. Oh, I see soldiers. Right, let me just stand here a second. Bounty Hunter. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. A lot of protection for the Pythia. I can't get either one of these without them attacking. I want to try and like make my way into one of the. Oh, they're actually going to sit down together. Never mind. 
I was, I was hoping to jump on one. What? So much for using finesse. Ah, you're done. I did press Y there, but I don't know what was going on. Come on, lion, help me. Help the lion. Need to get outside, the lion's gonna die. The lion's done for. Yep, he's dead. You don't know much. These shields. You missed. I've never used that ability before. Wow, this guy's called the Invincible, and he is. Let me see if I can uh, lose one or two of them. Just run around the building, jump on the roof. See, I've got different gear on. I picked it up in, in between episodes. Let's do it again. The least I can do is get some sneak damage on someone. Yeah, these are, these are all elite enemies, these. Just die! Oh, no, 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 no. These are two big guys. Up, 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 up. Yeah. Gonna come through? Yeah, they're gonna stay under the roof. I know it's safe. This guy's a tank. Run. I know this is cheesing it, I do apologise for this, but this invincible guy literally is invincible. I don't know why I just used the heal thing. Oh, he's behind me. Oh, he's the bounty hunter. Stop fooling around and fight! He's the bounty hunter, I think. I have you now! Come on! I thought that'd throw him off the roof. This guy just is just immune. Wow, he's got some reach. Where's he going? Okay. Need this guy in my uh, my crew. 
Just because of how tough he is. Should be one more kick. Here we go. Mr. Invincible himself. Go to port. A man named Varnavas is hiring sailors for my crew. Get this guy. My poor lion. Let me move this body because it's not letting me pick him up. Uh, there we go. I don't actually know how to drop the body. We're we setting go. sail soon. Be there when we do. Uh, okay. My poor lion, look. Poor thing. No! Guards! I'm not here to hurt you. I just want answers. The Pythia is a sacred vessel of the gods. People travel the world for my answers. But none of them would dare break into my home. Apollo's wrath will be cruel and swift. Guards! I'm the one you should be afraid of. Enough with your lies. Tell me what I want to know. I can't breathe. If you raise your voice, if you tell a lie, I will cut your throat. I'm dead already. They'll find out you were here, and they'll kill me for it. Who? This cult of Cosmos? Speak! Yes, the cult wants you dead. They know you're here. I'm going to find them. You have an opportunity to do the right thing. Tell me where to find the cult. Tell me where they are, or we'll go find them together. Beneath the Temple of Apollo, there is an ancient chamber. I think they meet there. But without one of their cloaks and masks, you won't make it more than two steps inside. Where can I find one of these cloaks and masks? There is a man. He visits me from time to time, makes sure I'm well taken care of. I have the biggest house in the Hora of Delphi, yet he still offers Drachmi for my troubles. <sighs> Gives me the creeps. What's his name? Elpinor. Elpinor? He's with the cult? I can't be sure, but if he is, he would definitely have what you require. I sent Elpinor to the underworld. I knew the mask I stripped from his corpse would come in handy. Now go! You bring nothing but darkness with you. I should tell Herodotus what Epithea told me about the cult. Maybe he'll have some insight. So I think that's going to do it for this episode. This next objective is pretty close. So I won't have to do much between episodes. So thank you for watching. Until next time, bye bye.